checking out a cafe not only serving up tasty drinks, but also community culture and Caribbean flair. Allison, let's talk about you opening up during a pandemic. Yes, I know it was a weird time to start, but we just saw that there was an unmet need in the community and we really wanted to bring um, a place where you can have healthy food, a nice place where people can relax eventually when the pandemic is over and just nourish your body. Now I want to talk about the name of the shop, Hibiscus Brew. I'm Jamaican, you're Jamaican. So for us, Hibiscus has a significance. Hibiscus is what we call sorrel in Jamaica. And sorrel is a plant that we normally steep in water. And then we use ginger as well, some spices. And right now in the shop, we're sweetening with agave. And we make this tangy drink that we normally enjoy around the holiday time. I remember growing up and my mom kind of bringing the, 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 the sorrel in this yes. plastic bag and having it sit down in the sink and then boil it down and, and us enjoying this drink And the beauty about it, my mom makes the sorrel here. So just having her from the Caribbean, just being here, sharing that culture, it's just phenomenal. So here we have our signature sorrel um, smoothie. It's called the hibiscus. <laughs> you know it's good when you can smack your tongue like that. Then of course we have the clean skin, which is our green smoothie. It has kale, cold pressed cucumber juice. Ooh. Wow, okay, this is really good. Is there pineapple in here as well? There's pineapple, mango, and banana. And then um, we definitely had to have a tropical island where we have pineapple, mango, banana, and a little bit of agave. And then we have our iced tea, which has sorrel and it has um, passion fruit. What I love about this is that it's not too sweet, so I don't feel guilty. Yeah. <laughs> It's very refreshing. Taking a look at your menu, what else do you have here? Or um, bowls, which is a smoothie bowl. We, we have lattes, matcha lattes. We are definitely coming out with a soft serve vegan ice cream, sorrel base, this summer. Community is really important to you. Why? It is. I mean, I am from this community and I think food really affects your mood and I want people to feel good as they're eating. Yeah, and you're right smack dab in Little Caribbean. I am in Little Caribbean. We're right here on Flatbush Avenue. If I have the influence to help this community be better, why not? So in your past life, you were an organizer, a home organizer. I'm getting Marie Kondo vibes. Yes, it's definitely Marie Kondo, and I am still doing it right now. Show me a Jamaican that doesn't have more than one job. <laughs> Speaking of having multiple jobs and careers, you are also the author of a children's book. First of all, I don't know how you do it all. And I wanted this book to really teach kids that organizing and clean up, tidying up is fun. So I wrote this book with my son as the forefront who loves to organize and really teaching parents organizing is fun and everyone can do it. And we love to keep on tasting yes. all the fresh things that you have. Thank you so much for having us here, Allison. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna pack all of these up and <laughs> <Yes>. go home. <laughs>